Hey guys, it's Sherry Ann Richardson with ExoticGardening.com and I wanted to give you an update on this item right here. Um, I got this off of Amazon and I wasn't sure, honestly, how well this was or was not going to work. I did end up going and buying some additional Orbeez at Walmart to put in this because I felt like I needed some extras. Uh, the Orbeez expand in water and I felt like since I'm not keeping this full of water, this is nothing but the Orbeez, that I needed to have some to exchange in case these dried up. And they have dried up. Some of them have, you know, completely dried up and needed to be re-soaked. The other thing that I did that was a little bit different, um, I used some Olivia's uh, cloning, forgot the name of it. Um, anyway, it's for hydroponics and it's from Olivia's and it's called Cloning Solution, I think. Um, so I did not soak the Orbeez in just plain old water. I soaked them in the cloning solution. And something else that I do want to say, the Orbeez from Walmart did not swell up even after days in the water. They did not swell up the way the uh, water beads that came with this did. So we hung this above the kitchen sink. There is a um, window on the north side of the house, a little window that lets some sunlight in that area. But it's kind of a darker area, to be honest with you. And the only time we have any lights on over there is at night when we're at the sink, you know, washing dishes or, you know, doing something over at the sink, which is not a lot. So it gets some light and a little evening light from a fluorescent light, but like I said, not much. And I tried several different uh, types of plants. The lemon verbena was a complete fail. Like it, three days and it has shriveled up to nothing and was just dead. So I replaced it with some Hoya just to see what would happen. But I wanted to share with you my results. Um, this is a uh, Pato's Neon. And it's been in here since the beginning. So as you can see, all of the uh, Orbeez are doing pretty good. This one is drying up a little bit. Um, I'm sorry for the glare on the camera. But I have got, and I may have to take this out, uh, I've got a really nice, I'm going to take this out. Let me set this down. I've got a really nice root, uh, several really nice roots on this, actually, now that I am lifting it up and out of the water. So look at that, guys. There's uh, one right there that's real nice. There is one right here, and there is one down here. And so that has been, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to dump some of the Orbeez out in my hand so I can put this back in without doing any damage. This has been just literally sitting in here like this, like I said, um, with just the Orbeez. And then what I did, oops, and there goes one. <laughs> Hold on, I have to get that before the cat does because I don't want her having this. Um, okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I definitely had to go get that before the cat decided that she saw it and wanted to get her hands on it. Now, I'm going to show you here. Um, when the Orbeez swell up, teeny tiny like this that's when I feel like it's time to get them out of there and replace them so there she is back in her little glass I will definitely have to get that potted up here real soon um because it's got <coughs> oh, excuse me it's got a really nice set of roots okay so next is and I did two of these uh, these, this is a scented geranium and this one, I honestly don't see anything happening on. However, um, and I'm not sure why, because it is getting some new growth. The other one 
and I put these both in at the same time. They've been treated exactly the same way. Look, look at that. And this is one that the Orbeez needs to be replaced on because they're shrinking. Um, I've also got a really huge root right there. And I will see if I can very gently uh, dump some of these Orbeez out and get this out. Because like I said, I am aware that there is a glare and I'm sorry. Um, my house is pretty dark. I do have some grow lights going. But it's pretty dark over in this corner where I am actually doing the video. So, I do apologize. Um, I, I need the external light so that you guys can actually see anything. Okay, so I'm trying to get this out without losing an Orbeez. Wow, that root, a couple of these roots have actually stuck. This is not good. Um, they have actually stuck. Can you see that? So I'm gonna gently lay this down and see. Okay, the Orbeez are coming right off. That's a good thing. Um, I guess it's good I pulled it out of here because we definitely don't want the Orbeez to get planted when we plant this. This one is being a little more difficult. Um, I may have to run the one under some water or something to get it loose. But look at that. Look at that growth and that root. So that one is doing really, really well. Um, I'm going to set it back in and drop these Orbeez back in around. Um, And they really, really do shrink up super tiny as the plant uh, absorbs water from them. Oops, there goes another one. Time to go get that. Sorry, guys. Well, that got knocked over. Definitely not the intention. Um, but I will edit that part out. Okay. The next plant um, is the philodendron heart leaf. And again... It has got some really nice uh, root growth on it. So I have a cat that is not only after anything that moves, but she goes after my plants. And it really concerns me because I don't want her doing that. Um, but there you go. This one has, I know, not as much of a root. Oops, there you go. There you can see it. Um, it hasn't done as much rooting as the potos, but still, which, yes, I realize I probably said that wrong. Um, but I'm still pretty happy with this. I mean, it's definitely rooting in here. And um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to put these back without dropping any more. Um, and without knocking the test tube over because it is glass. Um, so just trying to keep everything away from her. And again, look how teeny tiny these will shrink up to. I mean, really, really, really little. And they are very slippery. So they really are hard to keep a hold of. Um, now, the last things that I've added was some Hoya. And like I said, this was a little later on and definitely after um, the incident of the lemon verbena not rooting. So I'm not really seeing any rooting going on yet with these. Um, this one is one the cat had just torn off of my big plant. So it has not been in there very long. But let me pull out this uh, Hoya rope and see. It hasn't started doing anything quite yet. Uh, the white is the rooting powder. So it hasn't started doing anything right yet, but it 
is still looking okay. So certainly there is still hope. Um, I am seriously considering cutting the other longer stem down a little bit and just kind of seeing, you know, what gives, if maybe it will, you know, be happier being shorter and maybe I can get two cuttings. But the other thing that I realized, this is a solid white leaf on this. So no chlorophyll in those leaves. So that may be, you know, an issue and that cutting may or may not root. We're just gonna have to wait and see. But truthfully, overall, I'm very, very happy with this. Um, let me show you again. The plants inside of it are rooting and doing good. Um, like I said, even the ones that have not rooted, they are still alive and healthy. There's no rot down on their stems. So there still is a big hope that these will survive and throw out some roots. Some plants just take a little longer than others. And the name of the game is patience, guys. So I wanted to throw that out there. If you are looking for a different way to root, you want to use water, but not really keep the stems in water all the time because you've had a rot issue or whatever. This, uh, and I will link this, this propagation unit and the Orbeez balls are working for me. So anyway, please subscribe. A thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great night.